My friends, welcome to EU4S. We are about to start a Cologne series. Uh, you might ask yourself if you've been part of my uh, my channel for a while, what happened to the old Cologne series? I've removed it. Um, I failed. <laughs> I failed miserably at it. Uh, things were going actually well. Well, not really. We vassalized Munchen over here and the minute we lost our troops, everyone declared on me, and maybe I did too many wars. The HRE game is not all about wars, it's about diplomacy. And how we can um, hopefully change a few things uh, towards us. Now, we have kind of a rough start because Berg is separating my nation, as you can see over here. Now, it doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to be attacking Cleves right away. I would like to get Berg. Uh, let me get that uh, straight, because I want to unite my my land so we don't need like military access from countries which we might not even ally so getting berg is going to be rather important i'm not sure how they are they are quite good for me muncia itself is is hostile so getting alliance with him is actually well that's not going to happen now if we are going to proceed i want to go towards a coastal region probably to uh, towards this over here uh, Osnabrück, hopefully I will correctly announce some of these territories. I've been uh, warned in the past that I absolutely, absolutely make massive things. Then, Oldenburg, um, East Frisia, maybe even uh, Groningen. Uh, we can go in to get a coastal region. And I want that because we would like to get into discovering the Americas. Because that will generate us points. Going all the way up here. Maybe even trying to get colonies going. But it all is kind of depending on how things will roll for us. If you see this on YouTube. That means that we have a, uh, a good amount of videos already. Because I'm not going to release videos until I'm certain that I can... Well, I'll try to get up to 25 videos. If I fail, then I fail and we pick another video. It's all going to be up to you. Now, speaking of Cologne, we start with no advisors. We are a bishop uh, kingdom. And uh, where is it? Economy is already horrible. Look at this. It's 0 0.75. We do want to change that by, like, mothballing all the forts. Make sure that they automatically raid uh, in it. Well, resupply the fortress at the moment there is war. As for my military, I'm still debating if we are going to be, well, training our army. Training our army does give us some uh, additional points into military tradition over here. And actually, the mercenary cost will go down and army professionalism will go up, which is quite nice. I do want to do that. Now, there's a few things that I have in mind about doing. Perhaps giving everything to the nobles. Because that will well, transform me into a monarchy after about 10 years. But we can always do that through our government type. Because here we can go crowned ruler. I'm interested in that. I, I truly am. I would like to go to that. Because this will enable us to make... Uh, royal marriages, personal unions, all of that stuff. Um, well, just let me know in the comment section uh, what would be a good decision. Perhaps I'm all wrong. Perhaps. Um, don't think it's too late to reply even though this series has been going on for a while. I will always read comments and I will always do my best to get back to you. Uh, I'm not a expert in this game. I am a big ass noob and I'll show it to you if I'm able to No, let me make sure that I am able to where is my mm, Here you go. Let's make sure that we capture third party. There you go I have a whopping 82 hours at the moment in this game now this could put you off but you can also just go and uh, help so we need to get alliances and let's take a look so there are a few larger countries of course like austria which is most likely never going to ally us because our army is too weak they're neutral to us they don't particularly like us if they did we had a chance we don't have a navy now you have uh, bomifia which is actually perhaps doable 
negative 29 and this is a great country they are rivaled to brandenburgs and saxony so both of these which probably and i think i'm right here brunswick i think they might uh, like each other if they do then these guys are actually quite quite formidable getting these two as my allies would be very interesting since they don't rival each other in all of the games i've done these restarts in these two usually start off disliking each other i'm sorry that i talk a lot uh, i will probably throughout the very first few episodes so let's go with influence action no 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 with relations and improve with both of these countries and that leaves another one so in order to continue we might ally cleaves for now it kind of depends on who he is going to be rivaling he has leech here utrecht and galra i don't see munchen in here and let's see galra so i think these two might ally each other uh, but i'm going to try this anyway let's imp proof or shall we just say let's offer him an alliance or not we'll just wait let's see who will offer us uh, we could always go with Trier since he has proven himself to me he does not like cleaves so he might go in with a call to arms let's do that uh, let's start on pausing we are going to save up our monies and building up our cavalry and infantry Let's go with a Papal Progesse. This doesn't fit well with some of my estate, but we'll, uh, we'll get this all going. I would like to grant myself a Admiral, or actually a General. Uh, let's do that right now. Uh, we could also demand uh, diplomatic support. Uh, we can also do that with uh, getting uh, Prestige. By offering Prestige, we are very close at getting that extra Diplo. As for our advisors, I'm not sure yet. And this, the reason for it is we could potentially go military. And the reason I say so because we don't want to fall behind the military tech. The military tech is going to be extremely important. So maybe the very first advisor, if we had like a discipline advisor, would have been absolutely fantastic. But we don't. Hmm. Diplomatic re reputation is also quite nice. But, you can understand that's not going to happen anytime soon, right? So, let's start building up. Let's go up to speed 3. I want to take this slow. I've been doing speed 4 a bit. And, ooh, damn. <laughs> yeah, don't hit the mouse button. Don't hit that. Let's see what will happen over here. We are improving with these relations, right? And negative 17. And what we need to look in for is... Who are going to be their allies? Like Brandenburg. Um, yeah, look at that. Brandenburg and Hesse. We want to offer an alliance to Hesse, perhaps? How is your ideas with that? Let's just wait and hopefully we can get these guys as an ally. And we have a ve two very strong allies. And we'll take Hesse, not Cleves. And we'll attack Cleves. Since I do think that... Uh, oh, look at that. They have a royal marriage of Burgundy? No way. Oh, that's... Okay, so Cleves is, is not not going to happen anytime soon. Burgundy is, um, is strong. Burgundy is very strong. If we go to the uh, ledger here, pressing L, and go to Burgundy. Uh, Burgundy is around here. Force limit of 21. They have 15,000 in total. We're not even getting close to that. So that not happening so we'll have to go with Hesse since he is allied I kind of want to make sure that we get these two first if we don't and say one of these rivals Hesse then we'll have a bit of a problem right so negative 13 let's build that up the Italian kingdom yeah great too few rivals so we're going to set up Brunswick and Munster. So that's going to be one. And the other one is going to be Brunswick. And the reason for it is. We want to get this territory or this one. And then move upwards. Um, not Bremen. Because Bremen is a free city. And that will 
clearly get Austria in here. We don't really want to do that. So let's make sure that we get this one, negative 12 still. Um, who is going to be another of our rivals? We could go with Oldenbrook. But he apparently is, I think, in the trade league. Yeah, he is. So that's not going to happen out correctly. That's not. Maybe East Frisia. They will, uh, he's allied with Werder as well as Utrecht. I'm not sure if we can actually take him. So, let's see. So, Gelra, that we're not going to do. Cleves, we're not going to do. Bremen, Archen. Um, Hesse, it's, not, it's out of the question. Tierra's already my ally. We could go and do Nassau as my third one. He is weaker than me, uh, but we're going to hold off. Uh, anyone here going to be dealing with Nassau? No, they have royal marriages with Anhalt, Brandenburg, Brandenburg and Hesse. And you have... Okay, so you actually would not care much if we go ahead and rival Nassau. Just to get our first round. We, we want to make sure that this number, here, power projection is going up to 50. That's what we need. Uh, because it's... it's extremely important that we do because we want to get the additional one in all of our monarch points so here we go let's go with Nassau if we're going to be attacking him sure we'll see we'll see that's scare we did did we get a general oh damn you're horrible dude like shock two and fire but I would have liked maneuver and siege but oh well what can we do about it so we're making 40 here I think it's going to be best to drop the army maintenance so we make more money first. We want to save up. Say we need mercenaries. We do need them. And we want to make sure that we have the money to buy them. We have to be careful if we get involved in a war and lose. We'll most likely lose all of our money. Uh, Poland. Yeah, okay. That's good for you, I guess. Uh, let's just wait up and see what will happen with these guys. What's happening around me? What's Cleves doing? So, Burgundy, Munster is going to have a causes belly on Utrecht. And he is allied to Ausberg. Um, how much do you hate me, Archon? You always hate me. Uh, we can't declare war because look at this. Austria, Nassau is part of him. Um, Tier, we could give this to Tier and Tier will get annihilated by Austria. So let's not. A negative six, negative one. So this is going to be the very first one. And should be okay next month. So let's build up money. I would like to go to war soon. <sighs> Maybe we do need to ally Cleves. Uh, the reason why I say this is because I would need to get through their territory. And this will cost me a relation slot nevertheless. It is a diplomatic relation. So, one, two, and then tier, and probably just cleave. So, I have three go through this terrain. Would you go in with me? Well, we're not building up favors. That is a bit of a thing. Let's go. Can we do... Oh, no, we can't. So that doesn't ball well for me. That is a bit of a shame. Let's not do that. That costs me way too much points. I uh, did a bit of a tinkering also with my uh, with my microphone volume. Hopefully it's a bit better. Uh, let's get you. Offer you an alliance. And we'll keep this guy over there. So we are now in an alliance with Brandenburg. And we're going to be offering them the same alliance... Uh, once we're there, negative three, so we're getting close. And I'm still considering Cleves, but we'll do that later. He will be okay with me offering it as long as you don't ally like uh, Munster. I'm okay with that. So you have not many, not many allies yet. So let's try to get him in. We could probably attack him like right away. And try to get... But he's already... He's training a Latin knight. So that's a calf. Unfortunate. Maybe we can persuade one of these guys to get into a fight with us. We we'll have to be extremely careful with... With them declaring wars on others. 
because that's not going to bode well for us. Let's still build up treasury. We could go over our relationship ships as well. It will cost us a tiny bit of diplo points. But maybe that is not too bad. He won't like me because we are allied to a rival and it's going to get worse. A negative two. And we're going to be allying ourselves to another one. If he declares war upon me right now, that he will at least come to my aid. Which is very nice since he has 9k troops. I have 8 and Tier will come as well with his 8. So declaring war early on, probably not going to happen. Now, you can ask yourself, why do you play this slow? Because I'm new. I am new and I miss so many things. It is unbelievably. Uh, negative one for the Catholic faith. Brunswick and Cologne. Interesting. So you don't hate me as much. So you both, were, we rivaled each other. You would have been a very nice ally against uh, Munch, but you would have won this territory. So once we have you, I'm going to start fabricating claims. We have to hurry up. He already has three alliances. I'm very, very worried he's going to get another one within this month. If he does, this is out of the question. So we don't necessarily have to take Hesse. But if he wasn't, if he didn't have this, like if he did not have the royal marriage Burgundy, we would have been at war probably very very early on so let's offer you the alliance and here we go that means we can now start fabricating on this territory over here let's um close this up covid actions build spy network here we go and uh, these two are going to remain building up so what are we going to do hmm Hesse has Saxony and Nassau, and Nassau is my rival. So that's not going to be well. Hmm. We need to wait and see what will happen. I wish this this wasn't a thing. I hope this will be broken. Uh, how old is this ruler? He's 27. Ah, uh, you are a duchy, you are a kingdom. You're part of the HRE. It, it, I've been told that individual territories, that this is HRE, HRE, this one isn't, I think. No, actually it is. Are there parts in here that are not part of the HRE? Like this guy, East Frisia, he is not part of the HRE. Getting him, so um, Osnabrück and then Friesland, uh, will probably not piss off uh, Austria. And then we'll have to play a very, very slow game. <laughs> because this, this HRE game, it is all about alliances. And I have a bad feeling about this. They are bustering trips. Uh, but I think together, we should be able to do this. How many troops does Bermithia have? Actually, let's keep the game going. So, um, Bermithia has a force limit of 19. Now, with my allies, uh, we have 10, 21, and 9, so it's 30, 38 allies, which is very, very nice. Uh, he also has alliances, of course, uh, royal marriages, and perhaps it is... Uh, this, this will be war. It will be, and I will, I will uh, honor the call. Even though we can probably just stack this guy out. Uh, we'll just see. So once we have a claim on Osnabrück. Uh, we'll see what we are able to do. Mm, Cleves. I'd say Cleves we should offer a, an alliance. So we get military access through his land. Um, he is inclined to do it. Army strength is negative one. So he considers himself to be stronger than we are. Um, interesting. Uh, we'll just have to wait here for a second. Uh, these guys still building up quite nicely. We'll have that one mission. Uh, actually, we have two. Diplomatic re um, reputation plus one. Morale of armies. This actually would not be so bad. So, we're going to be taking it. Acquire subjects. So, diplomatic annexation cost negative 15. The number of non-tributary 
subjects is at least two. So we're very much focused on uh, getting subjects. Uh, well, we cannot integrate them. Integrating your subjects <laughs> is going to be horrible. Prom uh, I promise you, that's going to be... So actually, I would like to go to war. Like, take a country, then show strength and perhaps then vassalize. Um, but we definitely want to have a coastal, coast, a coastal region with um, East Frisia. I think that's the best possible course of action. Let's wait until we have 20. Uh, we'll pull this guy back. So we can actually get that military alliance with Cleves. Let's pull you back for now. Any one of you hate Cleves already? Uh, doesn't appear to be so. You actually have no point in hating Cleves. That would be silly. So we're going to be offering you this alliance. He will be happy about that alliance though. Uh, we do need to build up relations with our allies. Um, but well, let's see first. If we were to declare right now, take this one. He would be helped by uh, Ostenburg, who is over here. I would like to get a few mercenaries to get him out. Uh, we can probably siege this all down and then wait for Ostenburg's troops. Let's take a look here. Let's turn this off, Ostenburg. Ostenburg has seven troops. So, mercenaries. Can we actually get through your territory now? Can we not? We have an alliance. Stop being a douche. Uh, we have recently have a diplomat here, so we're still waiting until this goes away. Uh, ask military. Okay, are we now above our diplo point? No, we're not. So, we have means to get into the woods. This is also woods. Let's start moving over there. And we're going to be getting a few mercenaries, so we can disband them after this uh, fight. I also need to make sure that our army maintenance going... How expensive are mercenaries? 25. Two Latin and infantry. Mm, that would be so... Oh man, it's actually we're getting very, very short on money. Um, but let's end up there. I think we're doing quite okay with our allies. We are going to war with him. He has one allied country. And he is so far away. Uh, we might be able to do this ourselves if we get more troops. We have a general. He doesn't. We'll get the mercenaries next episode. And we're going to be attacking Munsha. Uh, once this army is down, we'll take the rest and just wait, sit on this. Um, he will honor the call. He will send troops all the way over us, towards us. By the time he's here. I think the fort will be fallen. But that's it for now, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. This is a brand new series then. And don't forget to smash that like button. And let's hope, let's hope that we can actually do this. Uh, as for now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.